Hello, everybody. I'm Mormo, and tonight we're doing horror chat. I'm going to ask some horror questions, and then I'm going to talk about some horror marketing stuff. And I had a horrible thing happen to me on Facebook. I don't know if I should even talk about this, but like I got a friend request from a pedophile. And then I accepted it. I looked at his page. Something didn't seem right about him. And I looked at his page. And uh, there was... It was all about magic and stuff. So I thought he was just a magic person. And then I Google searched his... Um, I Google searched his name... And there was all there was like articles about him, and he write he writes books about it and stuff. The guy is super gross. I accidentally accepted his friend request, and then today I blocked him. So makes me feel all weird and gross to deal with somebody like that. Kind of a creepy story. I need to contact somebody. I need to tell a friend of mine about that. I think he's like trying to normalize that crap and it's really gross. I just feel so gross about it. Um, Free to Stay is here. Hello, bro. And thanks so much for showing up and commenting. I'm just doing horror chat tonight. I had something really gross happen today, but I don't, I'm done talking about it. But here's my. I'll go ahead and ask the first question. How can children act in a horror movie without being traumatized? LOL, all good. Yeah. I don't know if any pigs are watching, so I don't want to out. I want to be careful not to out you. So I'm asking, how can children act in horror movies without being traumatized? And this actually remind. I actually was thinking about this a um, couple days ago. I went and saw Don't Breathe Two, and there was this actress, this little girl in the movie, <laughs> and she had a really physically demanding part where she had to like cut people with the machete and stuff. And I was thinking, man, she should win some kind of award for like having such a like traumatizing part of like all this violence and stuff she had to cut somebody's arm off and stab somebody through the heart and stuff it was pretty intense and i was thinking for a kid to do something that traumatizing she should win some kind of an award or something yeah i had the grossest thing happen today it actually happened yesterday and today, I'm not sure if I should even be talking about it or something. I'm not, this isn't a monetized broadcast, but it was just like such a dirty and gross thing that happened to me. I guess I'll just talk about it. Basically what happened is, is that somebody re friend requested me. Ours the magic, ours the power, definitely. I haven't said that in a while. That's a good one. Ours the magic, ours the power. And it was actually a magician that I dealt with that made me so sick too. But that's a good one. I'm glad you reminded me of that. I should start using that line in the show. And I've been lazy with my makeup. I only do half makeup. I should bring back the more classic Mormo. Hello, how are you doing? Ozzy Kenson says, I'm doing good. I, I had something really terrible happen to me, but um, I'm feeling better now. But I'm definitely trying to support horror movies in the theater right now. The Domestic Baconator says, hello, hello, Domestic Baconator. Had something really gross happen to me today, but um, 
I took care of it. Now it's over. I still need to talk to somebody about it, but just something real gross happened. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It was, it's just like Facebook garbage. Basically, I'll just say it. I might as well be open about it. Somebody friend requested me. And I looked at their name and I looked at their picture and I said, there's just something not right about that guy. And then I clicked on his profile and it was all like bizarre magic trick stuff. And so I saw it and uh, I thought, oh, this guy is just a magician. We have, he's a, we know he's like a magician. And then I accepted his friend request. And then today I, I Google searched his name because I just really had a bad feeling about the guy. And there was like articles about him, about how he's like an admitted pedophile and stuff. And he writes like books about being a pedophile and stuff. And uh, so I blocked him. I instantly blocked him after I found that out. I knew there was something not right about the guy, but uh, I like didn't do the research. I just looked at his page and his page seemed all right. But then I did a Google search and the guy is like not a good guy at all. And so now I just feel all gross and disgusted that I dealt with this guy for a day. <laughs> And I like blocked him. I still need to talk to somebody about him, but I didn't tell him what happened, but it was just like a real gross experience. Oh, he should be shot. All of them should be shot just like Biden. He killed troops today. It's getting bad in this country. Yeah, you know, 60 troops died under Trump, too, though. I think it was just a dumb war to begin with. I more blame the people who got us in the war to begin with and just, like, let it go on for 20 years. Trump wanted to get out. Biden wanted to get out. And we finally got out. And then now it's just getting out it's terrible that the troops died and i feel so bad for the troops and the families and everything it's just a horrible tragedy but i don't know that it's necessarily biden's fault in my opinion can you name a horror movie where the characters are actually smart and i was thinking about this and uh, my answer is any movie that's set in college, basically if it's about college students, then it's about smart people. Like Reanimator would be an example. Um, the New Black Christmas would be an example. Like any, like Pieces would be an example. Any movie that's set in a college they need me to run as president baconator yeah definitely man i vote for you as for president i've actually thought about running for office before it would kind of be as a joke because you would like where i live it's very right wing and like democrats never win most of the time democrats don't even run for office it's very republican leaning here and uh but i might just run as a joke or to get like an email list and that's good you blocked him yeah if, if i had seen that he posted any of that crap on facebook i would have reported him to facebook but it was just like all magic trick stuff and like he had a magic theater and all this and he even brought lovecraft into it which is kind of a shame and but I blocked him. That's the, that's the best I could do. Like I say, I would have reported him, but there wasn't anything on his page alluding to that. So I just blocked him. 
I'm going to tell somebody what happened and that I got friend requested by him. Somebody who knows the case. Reanimator had smart people. Yeah, definitely. That's what that's what I thought. Um, it and it really any movie set in a college, if it's like college students, it's basically about smart people. Scream definitely had smart people in it. Um, like definitely smart people in Scream. I smashed the like button. Thanks so much, Ozzy. Everybody smashed the like button. Sorry, this this uh, episode is really heavy. I just needed to get that off my chest. That's the kind of thing you don't want to keep a secret. You have to talk about it. And uh, I just feel like so gross right now and just like really nasty and stuff. Scanners had smart people. That's a great movie. I watched that with my dad on VHS when I was a kid, and that, that movie's awesome. It's all about like people, who, their mom took a drug when they were, I don't want to give away spoilers, but their mom took like an experimental drug during pregnancy. And then they got like mega brains where they could blow up people's heads and read people's thoughts and everything. The kids had people who um, who uh, were like, the kids of people who, who took the drug were like mega brains and stuff. Cabin Fever, man, I need to watch that again. I heard there was a remake too. I never saw the remake. I saw the original Cabin Fever when it came out. And that was a great movie. <laughs> Attack of the Killer Tomatoes didn't have smart people. Yeah, totally free to stay. That was a pretty dumb movie. And I was so stoked to like get to meet the people who made it. And I went to an Attack of the Killer Tomatoes like party at comic-con one year and got a t-shirt and attack the tomatoes t-shirt i wish i still had that t-shirt man it said genetically incorrect on it i thought that was so awesome rl stein's haunting hour i need to see that i haven't seen that one killjoy yeah definitely that's about clowns and we were talking about that last night. It's kind of like it started off as a black exploitation movie and then turned into a um, and then turned into a like Trent Haga took over the killer gingerbread man cookie movies. Puppet Master. Those are all great movies. I need to see that Oopsie Baby movie. I really need to watch that. I was thinking maybe instead of going live today, I would just watch the Oopsie Baby movie. Because I think you can rent it on Amazon. It looks awesome, though. I saw the trailer. Ugh. And it looks awesome, though, the new Demonic Toys movie. I've, I've heard a couple bad reviews of it, though. Children of the Corn, definitely. Zombieland. Yeah, in Zombieland, they were kind of just living their best life. Uh, aside from the... The uh, zombie apocalypse. They were trying to just live their best life. So that's pretty smart. Friday the 13th. That's a great horror movie. The Walking Dead. Yeah, that's a great show. I hung in there for a while on The Walking Dead. And then when I switched from Cable to Roku, I gave up on The Walking Dead. And some people ordered them on um, 
some people ordered The Walking Dead, Amazon, but I just stopped following it. Halloween is a great horror movie. Bunny Man, I need to see that. I still haven't seen Bunny Man. I remember you said that's on Tubi. I definitely need to check that out. Scary or Die, I think that's a clown movie and I may or may not have seen it, but I definitely need to check it out. So far, I'm getting all comments from YouTube, no comments from Facebook. I got one Facebook like. It could be because there was just, like, such heavy stuff in this episode. I don't... This might... This episode might, like, ruin my career. I might get canceled after this episode. I don't know. Stitches. That was a great clown movie. That had some really good kills, I know. Wrinkles the Clown. I still need to see that movie. I remember there was a time when there was like four evil clown movies in theater and it was like Joker, Wrinkles the Clown, Haunt, and one other one. There was one other one, but there was like four evil clown movies. There was four evil clown movies in playing in theaters. You be good, oh well, if they're triggered, lol. Yeah, it's best to talk about that stuff. That's the kind of thing you don't want to keep a secret, you know? It's really disgusting, and it can make you look bad, and you don't even want to think about it, but you got. it's better to talk about it rather than keep it some kind of secret or something, you know? Anyways, I'd rather just talk about it and, and explain what happened and maybe I can help somebody else in that situation or whatever. I can't even remember the guy's name, but I know I need to talk to somebody after this episode. I like your Bernie Sanders plush. Yeah. I need to have more props on this show. I keep meaning to bring my Mormo doll in the show. I like the Bernie Sanders memes. Yeah, I haven't heard from Bernie Sanders in a while. I so wish he would have been president instead of Biden. I just really wish that Bernie Sanders would have become president rather than Biden. Like, I think he would have handled the Afghanistan thing better. He would have got us out, but, like, in a better way. And then we could have, all have health care and have good jobs. And I'm a big fan of Bernie Sanders. I love hearing from him. I haven't given him money in a long time. That's probably why I haven't heard from him recently. But it's like, I just have a hard time giving money to politicians because I'm afraid that they're just going to spend the money on advertising, trying to get me to give them more money. And it's just the cycle of like me giving them money, them spending the money on advertising to try and get me to give them more money. So I don't really like giving money to politicians but anyways let's skip to the marketing section and right now we're talking about don't cut corners as doing this could kill your horror business very quickly especially when you are starting out and i gotta be real careful not to cut corners because some of my movies are pretty sloppy and I actually refer to making movies as like crapping out movies and stuff and I encourage other people to crap out movies and crap out products and uh, this is probably not the best strategy. I gotta strive to make like good movies and good projects and I gotta like it sucks, but I got to invest money in my movies. 
And I'm getting to a point now where like people trust me to make movies because they see that I continuously have been making movies for a couple years now and that like making movies is my job and I'm good at making movies and I get them finished and completed and everything. So people are more like open to investing in my movies because I love making movies and I just want to make more and more movies. But like my movies aren't making that much money. My last movie made like, I didn't check the stats today, but I think it made like a little over a buck, like a dollar seven or something. And it had a budget of 15. So it's an asset that might be more valuable in the future. But uh, right now it's not like earning back the money I spent on it. So it's like kind of a, I want to invest other people's money. Basically, I want to like get my fans to invest in my movies since they enjoy them and then like keep making movies and just keep making movies. That's what I'm doing. So it says, don't cut corners as doing this could kill your horror business very quickly, especially when you're starting out. So I should be able to invest a small amount of money into my movies and just keep the budget low, but like micro hire people. I'm, I'm in the process of hiring several people right now. Oh man, well, let's go ahead and get to our next marketing advice. Be certain that you have a firm horror business plan. However, allow enough flexibility to take the unexpected into account. And the unexpected is like buying advertising or marketing. And I buy like Fiverr gigs trying to promote my gigs and stuff. The last time I did that, I failed. I actually need to make a movie about that but uh, and upload it to Horror Cash University. But, uh, oh man, my viewership is going down, down, down. Dang, this has been a heavy episode. I don't know what to say. And my plan right now is just to make this show and then upload it to YouTube with a Creative Commons license. And then when I get enough episodes, I'll just uh, start approaching media companies and explaining the situation and maybe get somebody to give me an opportunity. That's what I'm really looking for is just like to get some kind of opportunity to get on TV and grow my audience. That's what I'm really looking for. And I appreciate everybody who has showed up and commented all those horror movies. The horror chat is really important to me. And I love chatting about horror movies. I'm a little disappointed in Facebook. Like, no, I didn't even get one comment from Facebook. I got one like, but I got zero comments from Facebook. So Facebook just must not be pushing my show at all. This is a really messed up episode of my show. Ozzy Kennington says Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That's a great movie. I love that movie. Big fan. Saw that movie when I was a kid. It is a really good movie. Big fan need to have better rewards for people who comment and stuff. I'm thinking about doing a um, photo giveaway. I have a bunch of stamps. I actually have a bunch of stamps and could send photos through the mail. So I'm probably going to do that real soon. Joker. Yeah, I really didn't like that movie. That movie upset me a lot. I was not a fan of Joker at all, to be sure. I thought it 
it was like not a good portrayal of mental illness. Clown Town, haven't seen that one. But we'll get to my last marketing point. And that's while many people mistakenly focus their efforts on the number of leads they get, successful horror marketers emphasize the importance of quality prospects. And uh, that's what I need to do is start concentrating on like quality prospects and like people who could really help out my business. I'm actually thinking about um, starting a, uh, making a movie about prospecting on LinkedIn and make it a stalker movie and stuff. Boom, I just got home. What's going on, Mormo? Hey, Robert Borsuk. So glad to see you. You're a producer on my next movie. And um, I'm just waiting to hear back on some stuff for that movie. Now I'm doing a show. I'm just doing like a horror chat show. And then uploading it to YouTube with the Creative Commons license, the edited version of the show. And so that's what I'm just doing to keep busy. And uh, just doing this show. And then when I get enough episodes, then I'll start in approaching media companies about like doing something with my show. Because it has a creative license so that I'm inviting them to like use my content to make money and stuff oh very cool thanks Robert yeah I'm just doing my uh, show and stuff are you my dad um probably not I've spent most of my life celibate so I haven't really spread my seed far and wide so it's unlikely that I'm your dad while many people mistakenly focus their efforts on the number of leads they get successful horror marketers emphasize the importance of quality prospects and uh I'll need to keep that in mind when I start promoting my show. I got a thumbs up on Facebook and a heart on Facebook. And then Robert was finally my first comment on Facebook. I need to start promoting the live shows on Facebook and get people interested in joining in. It's a pretty cool opportunity to be part of a show, you know? got five likes on your live video yeah i'm performing way better on youtube than facebook that's for sure on youtube i'm actually doing pretty good but so far i'm not attracting tension on um my facebook videos dude we got to get those nigerians back in this yeah i'm actually in talks about that I could go two ways on that. I have Ifasa, who I'm trying to hire right now, but I want to pay him. I don't want to pay him through Western Union. I want to pay him through um, PayPal. And he says he has an account, but I'm not sure if it's hooked up to his bank or not. But I could hire Ifasa, or I could go through Fiverr. And I found three African women in Nigeria who will do um, videos for five bucks. And so I could totally hire those Nigerians too, but I definitely want to get the Nigerians back for sure. I want to make another Mormo Goes to Africa movie and I actually have an investor already for that. So I might be able to cover it myself and get it paid for and everything.